In this video, we solve problem 7.1.9 from Essentials of Statistics, sixth edition by Mario Triola. We're asked to express the confidence interval 0.111 is less than P, is less than 0.555 in the form of P hat plus or minus the margin of error. So I will share my paper with you to show you how to do this. And it's actually really simple. The first thing that I always do is I think of this as an interval on a, a real um, line. And I know that this is an interval that's centered at p hat. And then we go from p hat to the error to get that upper bound. So that's p hat plus the error. And then down here, this is going to be p hat minus the error. So if I want p hat, and I've got this upper bound and that lower bound, and p hat is directly in between those two values. Um, it turns out that p hat is the average or the arithmetic mean of these two values. So if I want to find p hat, it's actually pretty simple. All you do is you take the maximum value for that upper limit of your confidence interval, and then you add the lower limit of your confidence interval, and you're averaging those, so you divide by two. So we're just going to have 0 0.555 plus 0 0.111 divided by 2, which gives us 0 0.666 divided by 2, which is 0 0.333. So that is the number that's halfway in between 0 0.111 and 0 0.555. So that's the right p hat. That goes here. Now there are a couple of different ways you could compute the error. The error was given by a formula in your book this way in terms of the upper and lower limits, but I usually like to just compute p hat and then subtract. So the error is equal to that upper limit minus p hat, which you just found. So that 0.55 minus the 0 0.33, 0 0.555 minus the 0.333. So that's 0 0.222. Now the formula that they use in your book is that they say we want um, the error, um, which is half of the length of that interval. Because if this is the error and this is the error, this distance from here to here is two times the error. So they say you should do it this way. You should take the largest value minus the smallest value. So the upper limit of your confidence, confidence interval minus the lower limit of your confidence interval. So you take those, and that's gonna give you that difference, but we don't want the whole difference, we want half of that, so we divide by two. And so we could do 0.555 minus 0.111 divided by two, which gives us 0 0.444 divided by two, which gives us 0 0.222. It's the same value that we get when we just take this and we subtract p hat and we get um, 0 0.222 there as well. Um, so that's it, pretty simple. Let's go back to the homework and show that my lab statistics likes it. This is pretty easy. And you can always check your work by adding those together, then you should get the upper limit, 0 0.333 plus 0.222 is 0 0.555, and then subtracting those, 0 0.333 minus 0 0.222 is 0 0.111.